So I'm going to show you how to password protect a zip file. If I double click this, I can enter in a password and it'll unzip that file just like that. And it's super easy to do. So I'm going to drag this folder up here, delete this, and let's dive in and get this done. So what we need to do is we need to open up terminal. So command spacebar to initiate spotlight, type in terminal and command plus to blow this window up, stretch the window out. First thing we need to do is we need to change the directory of the terminal so that we're in the directory where the folder exists. If you don't know where that is, we can easily get there by typing in CD, drag the folder in there, and then we're gonna get rid of the name of the folder so that it changes the directory to the desktop folder. I'm gonna hit return, and now you can see I'm in the desktop folder. Now we're gonna use the zip command, type in zip, and two options. The E is for encrypt, and the R is for recursive. If I open up this folder, you're gonna notice that I have another folder in there with some screenshots. I need that R so that I get that internal folder with those internal screenshots. So then I'm gonna hit a space, and I'm gonna type in pass and just hit tab, and I'm gonna get rid of the whack on the end, and I'm gonna put dot zip, and then I'm gonna type in pass again, get rid of that whack on the end, I'm gonna hit return, enter in a password, enter in another password just to verify it, and we're gonna see that it encrypted that folder right here. So now I have it on my desktop. I'm going to delete the old one because I no longer need it. And I'm going to double click this. I'm going to show you three different ways that we can actually unzip this. So if I type in the password, you're going to see that the folder is there. Now, if I want to do it from the command line, what I do is I type in unzip, drag this file on there, hit return, it's going to ask me for my password. Oh, and I want to delete this first. It's going to ask me for the password. I hit return, and as you can see, it unzips the encrypted zip file. The third way I can do it is I can use the unzip command with a minus capital P, and I can put the password in there and drag delete that file, drag that on there, hit return, and you're gonna notice that it unzipped that encrypted file. That's the third way. One thing you're gonna note is that I used a very simple password, one, two, three, four. You want to make sure that you use a strong password so that you can prevent dictionary attacks and brute force attacks. I hope you all liked the video. If you did, definitely throw it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel to grow. And I can't thank you all enough. You guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.